Wow. I wish you could be with me here this morning. It is gorgeous out here. Welcome to the Daddy Curbs Orchard. This morning, it's about, I don't know, 45 degrees. The sun is shining. We are blessed to have this beautiful weather and the opportunity to plant something so that we can sustain ourselves with homegrown food. Right here behind us is the Einsheimer apple that didn't make it this past season. It's the only tree in my orchard that died. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe it was a bad tree or uh, possibly didn't get enough water. It was the first year for this tree. It was a bare root tree. The other five bare root trees that I planted at the same time are doing fantastically. But this one just didn't make it. So we're going to replace the Einsheimer with a Gala apple. Uh, it was, I, I can't find a local source for Einsheimer, so I went ahead with a gala, and it, I bought it in a bag. Can you hand me that bag there, Luke? Careful. Oh, okay, so this is, this is not bare root. This is a bagged uh, apple tree, and uh, so we're going to see about, see if these grow any, any better or any differently. So first we need to prepare our, our tree. I have a bucket of water and a empty bucket. This one's going to be used to soak. We need to remove the packing material and I'm careful not to grab it up on the tree to, to damage the tree. I'm trying to keep it, hold it low enough to the, to the roots for stability. Actually, I think I'm going to tear this bag here. Should have brought a knife out here. I'm usually trying to prepare with all the tools so I don't have to keep running back to the shed when I do this stuff. And I almost always forget at least one tool. Okay, there we have it. Nice roots. We can shake that material off. And we're just going to soak this in the bucket while we're working on digging our hole. I'm going to use the rake on the dead tree here. I'm going to pull a lot of the mulch. I, I cover this mound pretty heavily with mulch. This mulch is really great laying on top of the dirt to hold in moisture. Eventually break down into compost over time. But we don't want all this wood mass falling into our hole. Now that I got that raked back, I'm just going to grab our tree here. Now well, that's how dead it was. That was completely dry. I was hoping to pull it out, but we'll dig it out. I just want a hole big enough to set that new tree down in. And there's that little little root mass from that dead tree. And this is where my dry bucket comes in. And there's a little worm. I'm going to add him to the bucket because I want him back in that hole. There's another worm. It's nice to see the worms in there. And this soil was really nice soil when I put it in here. And it just looks beautiful right now. Nice and loose and dark. Okay, that should be enough. Now I pulled this out of the, the water bucket so it's nice and wet. And I want to point out, this is a grafted tree. So this is... Uh, rootstock from from another type of tree. It's, it's another apple tree, possibly crab apple or something like that. That has a really hardy rootstock. And then this gala apple was grafted onto that rootstock. So there's a, a piece here that's been cut off. You want that to point to the south, or, or actually to the north, away from the sun, because that can get sunburnt. We also want to keep all of this from the top of these roots above ground. And I'd like to point out too that if you have a tree with a lot of really big roots, now you want to keep as much roots as possible, 
but it doesn't hurt to nip off the ends if you feel like you have to to put it in the hole. I don't have to do much on this one because it's not that big. All right, so I'm going to turn this part to the north. I'm going to set this in at the depth I want here. I'm going to just loosely pull some of this to hold it into place. And I'll get my bucket of dirt. Now, any of these big pieces of uh, wood that I see from the mulch, I can take out. There's my buddy the worm. We're going to leave him in there. So, now, that is very loosely put in place. What we're going to do now, this bucket of water that we had soaking our branch, we're going to pour it in, let it soak in. That's going to help that dirt settle in around those roots. Now I can take my bucket of dirt. And just add a little bit more to the top. Now I don't want to bury this. So I'll just lift it up a little bit to help some of that dirt fall under the roots down there. And I'm going to gently press, I don't need to mash it in there, but just gently press. To help keep that in place. Now that we got that tree pretty much in place, we're going to pull our mulch back up. And I'm not going to stack it right up next to the roots. Leave a little space there, but we want to cover all that dirt that we just pulled in there. And I'm just going to pull a little bit away from the roots. Now I wanted to give you this angle so you could see the tree's shape. And I want to illustrate a few things. One is Take your label off. Take the tag off the tree. I have an example on one of my peach trees where I actually possibly choked the tree because I left it on there and the tree grew around that elastic string. That's not good. So we're taking the label off. We're going to document this tree somewhere else so that we don't have to leave the label on the tree itself. Now. Uh, we're going to prune this right away. You can see this tree has pretty good shape. It has three little side branches and then the main branch. Right from the beginning we want to take these down to about six inches, which they're, they're not much longer now, but we're just going to nip the ends off. And I generally try to place my cut close to a node, you know, where, the, where there's a little bud growing out. I don't know that I'm doing the exact right thing there, but that's, that's my thought. So then we're going to take about a third of the tree off from the top. Now, so that's eh, somewhere right in here. And I have a little bud right here. And I am going to cut this angle to angle away from the sun. So the, the high side of the angle is going to be on the south side. And that's just to help that, the part that we cut, not get direct sun. So there we have it. That is a 
gala apple tree to replace one dead apple tree in the daddy curbs orchard thanks for joining me in the daddy curbs orchard we planted three trees today these are two plum and one gala apple and i'm excited to see how they grow and how much fruit i can produce for my family and my friends thank you again for watching me i hope to talk to you soon